I've just come across an AI app in the education space that is printing $300,000 every single month in recurring revenue. And I have reverse engineered everything about the app from the onboarding flow to the paywall, to the marketing strategy, to how they are positioning themselves to capitalize on the AI boom using major FOMO. In this video, you're going to learn exactly what it takes to build a mobile app that generates $300,000 in monthly recurring revenue. And why should you care about this app that's doing $300,000 in revenue? Because this is the sauce. This is how you become a better founder. This is how you learn how to build a profitable app by studying the ones who are already doing it. There is so much that you can learn from studying other apps that are crushing it in the space. And in this video, we're going to break down absolutely everything. And this is exactly how I grew my mobile apps to $45,000 in monthly recurring revenue. It was by studying others who are crushing it in the space. You find what's working, you study it, and then you implement those ideas into your own business. So be sure to watch until the end of the video, because there is so much sauce to be had and so many smart tactics that this app is using that you will be able to implement into your own business. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the case study and the app itself. Today, we are going to be covering Cursive AI, the AI tools mastery app. This sheet right here has absolutely everything that you need to know about this mobile app. So if you want to download this document, it will be in the description free to download. So go check that out. But let's get into it. We can see that this mobile app is doing $300,000 every single month in recurring revenue. How are they doing that? Well, let's take a look at what the app idea is and why this works. They are solving a massive problem for people. In this day and age, there are so many different AI tools and AI workflows coming out that people feel left behind, especially older people and people who are employed. And you'll see later, this is one of their marketing tactics. They are going after people with major FOMO, people who are employed, people who are behind with AI, and they are telling them this app will show you how to use AI. It will turn you into the smartest person in the room. So they are using major FOMO and they are also pitching it as a way to make more money or keep your job or get promoted. And this makes the marketing so much easier because you're tapping into that emotion of people who feel like they're going to lose their jobs to AI or people who want to make more money or feel behind. So that is clear value. They are showing you how to use AI in this app. It is an education app and it also has some cool, neat little AI tools in here, right? Like a smart assistant, image generation, productivity maximizer, prompt engineering, all this cool stuff. Stuff. But to be honest with you, the features don't matter that much. Where they really crush it is their marketing, their onboarding, and their paywall. This is where they set themselves apart. So look, in this video, I'm going to take you through the entire journey of the user, how they're marketing, how they're getting people interested in the app, and then how they're converting those users through their onboarding flow and their paywall. We're going to go through absolutely everything. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video. Let's jump into it. Let's take a look at their Facebook ads library because this is their real sauce. And as you can see, they are scaling hundreds of ads and you always know a company is doing well when they're scaling hundreds of ads like this, because you know, it's profitable. A company is not going to be spending money on hundreds of different ads if it's not profitable. So they are absolutely crushing it. And let's watch a couple of these and see what the strategies are. I'm afraid of getting fired. What should I do? Disappear for a month and become a master of AI. So this is how I became the most dangerous person in the room. One habit changed everything. I replaced social media with micro learning. Right, so, you know, right off the rip, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my job and I need to become the smartest person in the room. So boom, and we're starting with a clear problem here. There's a clear problem in the hook. I'm afraid of getting fired. I'm afraid of losing my job become the smartest person in the room. How are we going to do that? Replacing it with micro learning. So let's keep watching and see how they develop this ad. Now, instead of wasting time on social media, I spend 15 minutes a day actually learning how to use AI for writing, planning, brainstorming, and real work. That's it. Just one skill a day. This is the 28 day AI challenge built for beginners over 40 starts tomorrow. Tap the screen to join us and try the one habit that makes you uns- I want you to know something else there from that ad. Built for beginners over 40. They are targeting an older demographic, a demographic with money to spend. And you can bet that on their Facebook ads targeting, they're targeting people who are older than 40. They're targeting that market because those people have cash to spend. It's much easier to get someone over the age of 40 to spend money on something than it is a 17 or 16 year old kid. They are targeting a wealthy demographic. And you saw the call to action is pretty subtle. They didn't even talk about the app itself. They said, tap the screen and learn how. So let's see where they actually drive people to. Boom, a web to app onboarding funnel. They are getting people 
into this funnel here. And I'm sure this, yep, sure, <laughs> sure enough. It is a quiz funnel. Boom. So we have a quiz funnel here. We're going to say we're over the age of 45 because I think that's who they're targeting. I want to get wealthy. Sometimes I struggle a lot. We're going to click through here. Boom. Let's get you to the next level. Continue. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. We're going to go through this. They're asking you a lot of questions here, getting you to commit, creating your personal challenge. Here we go. They're getting us to really commit here, really giving us time to think about our AI problem and how much money we want to make with this, right? Aha. Uh -huh. And then it asks for your email. Swag for 20 at Gmail. Why not? What is my name? Billy. Readiness level. Let's continue. Aha. Uh -huh. And here is the paywall, the web to app paywall. Beautiful work. Pitching it as a four week plan. Pricing at 71 cents per day. 12 week plan. They got the upsell here. Get my plan. Taking you straight to a PayPal checkout. Beautiful. You'll see a lot of apps doing this, right? They'll take you through a web to app funnel because they get to save on fees um, from Apple. How effective is that? Eh, I don't know. They also have a mobile onboarding here as well. We're going to look at their mobile onboarding, right? Not everyone is going to be sent to the web to app funnel, but a lot of apps are doing this now to avoid the Apple tax, the Apple fees. Let's take a look at some of their other ads here. Try this 10 minute chat GPT routine every morning. Watch your workflow transform. So this is how I became the most dangerous person in the room. One habit changed everything. Now, instead of wasting time on social media, you can see a common theme here. I was behind on AI. I replaced it with micro learning to become the most dangerous person in the room. And now instead of wasting my time on social media, I am now micro learning. So they have all of these different angles here. Become smarter, become the most dangerous person in the room. Stop wasting your time on social media, micro learning. Don't get fired, make more money. They're attacking all the different angles in the same ad, which is actually crazy. They're just they're hitting you with all the benefits and everything that you're going to miss out on. Again, major FOMO in the marketing. They are making you click that screen. And why do these ads work? They're testing a ton of ads. They have hundreds of active ads. They have visual and audio hooks. There's a lot going on in the videos. There's these icons all over the place. And more importantly, it's AI generated content. All of this content is generated with AI. And I actually did a deep dive and I found out the tool that they are using to generate these ads. This is the tool that they are using to generate these ads. They're using AI actors. And a link to the tool is in the description of this video. If you wanna go check it out, does this look familiar right here? Yeah, this girl in one of their winning ads is AI. So Ready to level up your photo tool, game? You can pick from a suite of different AI actors and you can- Avoid these two mistakes if you have an Android phone. Number one is getting too many useless emails. Number two is not being protected against spam. They are ruining your storage and productivity. Instead, try this out. So it looks pretty real. I've seen so many apps doing this. I've seen so many companies using AI actors and one of the main strategies here is to use the AI actors in the bottom right hand corner and do B-roll in the background, which is a very effective strategy because if the actor is even smaller, you can't even tell that it's AI. GPT gets 123 million visits a day and most people still use it like a toy. Here is how to use it smart. <laughs> and if you look close enough, you could tell that it's AI. You could tell this guy's AI. He's not real. It's smart. Teenagers are out here launching AI businesses from their... Again, AI actor targeting people over 40 who don't know how to use AI, major FOMO. They are absolutely crushing it when it comes to marketing. You can check out their Facebook ads library. The link is right here in the document that I've linked in the description. So definitely check that out. You can learn a ton from mobile apps that are doing this. And look, you can go to the Facebook ads library and you can type in any app on the planet and you can see the ads they're running. You can type in any business on the planet. You can learn from what they're doing in their marketing. Use the Facebook ads library. It's an absolute cheat code. Okay, moving on, the onboarding flow. So obviously we saw their web to app funnel. Maybe they're driving some traffic there, but a majority of the traffic is going to be going through their mobile app funnel. So here is their mobile app funnel and we can go ahead and watch all of these screens. Let's just walk through it quickly. And I guarantee you're gonna see very similar stuff to the web to app funnel. Again, they're asking you so many questions. They're asking you 23 questions. They are getting you to dedicate so much time into this app so that when you hit the paywall, you are so ready. And you can look at some of these questions here. We're gonna go through some of the questions, but look at how long this onboarding is. They're really making you commit and think about your problem here. And then they're gonna hit you with the paywall. Giving you a plan, social proof, 100,000 people have chosen Coursive, loading your custom plan, and then boom, of course, the free trial. In this screen right here, I see so many apps doing this right now. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. This screen right here, the free trial guide, they're prepping you to start the free trial. 
letting you know that when your trial ends, you're going to get a reminder prepping you for the free trial screen. And then of course the next one, boom, we have their pricing. They're doing 749 a week build monthly. So what this tells us is they're optimizing for the weekly plan 999 per week with a three day free trial. They are trying to push you towards this weekly plan. That would be my guess because they're offering a free trial there. And if I had to guess, more people are going to opt in for the free trial plan rather than the monthly plan, just because it's less money. They try to make it seem like less money here, $7.49 per week, but I would bet on the weekly being a little bit more popular. And here they're comparing it to Starbucks and courses, $4 for a Starbucks cup. Corsive is even cheaper. So great, great positioning there. But look at all these onboarding screens. They are really making you feel the pain. What is your current income source? What's your schedule like? Do you have challenges with your current job? How would you describe your financial situation? What annual income do you strive to get? All of these questions are making you feel the pain of not knowing AI. They're making you feel FOMO. They're making you feel fear that you don't know AI. The marketing, the onboarding, the paywall, they all combine together. So look, hopefully after all this, you can tell how all of this plays in together from the marketing to the onboarding flow to the paywall itself. There's so much synergy between everything, right? They're making you feel FOMO in the marketing again. In the onboarding, they're making you feel FOMO. They're making you think about your problem. It all blends together. This is all their strategy. And you know they have A-B tested all of this on hundreds of thousands of users. Hopefully this video gave you some insight on how apps like this print $300,000 per month and monthly recurring revenue. And this is just one of the AI education apps out there. There are so many out there and you can learn from all of them. If you enjoyed the video and you stuck around this long, you probably enjoyed it. So I'd appreciate a like on the video and be sure to subscribe because I drop absolutely everything I know about building, scaling, and eventually exiting mobile apps. And we'll see you on the next one.